Welcome to this video about the new features and functions in Password Depot, the Secure Password Manager. As you can see, the user interface has been completely revised so that all the functions can now be accessed from the toolbar. From these two tabs, the Home tab and the Tools tab. The beginner mode, which you see here, has also been revised. So if you click it, it, sh it allows you to work with the basic functions of the program only and to leave out the more advanced options. Another new feature is the new live search, which allows you to search for strings in a password and it will look for the string in all the passwords and in every field of it. Also new is the favorites, favorites section where you can see all the passwords which you access most often. This favorites panel is also available from the toolbar for quick access. Another interesting possibility which was added is to add different password types like credit card, software license, identity and information. So we can add for example a software license here by entering a description, the name of the product, version number of course, the name the software was registered to and then just add the license key for this software to keep it in password depot. So we just added a software license here. On the tools tab we have some more re revised and new functions. For example the synchronize option was completely revised so that files can now be synchronized both ways and you can add a password from one file to the other. Global custom fields were also implemented to add some values which you use very often. You can add, for example, nicknames or email addresses, which you constantly use here. So you do not need to enter them inside a password, but can use them globally. So we could, for example, enter a, an account name here, which might be ASPID in this case. And there's also an option that you can make this one visible in top bar and then use it from there. So we will confirm this was OK. And I will show you another new thing which is the clean up function. And here you can see all the passwords which have not been used for a long time or which have expired. There are four different options to filter these entries and then you can just select one or more passwords here and delete them or you can edit a password to bring it up to date. What was also added to Password Depot 5 are add-ons for the browsers Internet Explorer and Firefox so, when you're surfing the web and come to some website which has a login, like our forum, once you enter the login page, Password Depot will automatically add the username and password which correspond to this entry and 
if there is no entry for such a login and you fill in the login and click the according button, Password Depot will automatically ask you if you want to add this entry to your password file. If there is more than one password entry with the same URL, you will be asked which one you want to use. So one more thing which I would like to show you here is when we go to the top bar now there's the possibility to adjust the top bar so you just right click on the right side of the top bar and click customize then you will see on the left side some available toolbar buttons which are at the moment not part of the toolbar but you can add them there by selecting them and just click add and as well you can just select some button which is part of the toolbar and can re remove it. The order of these buttons can also be changed in the top bar with the move up and move down buttons. So once we are finished here we click the close button and go back to the main program. Well, I think these are just some of the many new functions which Password Depot 5 offers, but I hope I was able to give you an overview of them and yeah, we would ask you to have a look at the new version for yourself and find out